John Cena has opened up about his relationship with Vince McMahon. Cena appeared as a guest on the Howard Stern Show on Wednesday. He was asked about the allegations against McMahon and about his current relationship with him, to which John Cena responded with the following. I don't think it's complicated to talk about. I think it's complicated to listen to. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of why I, I don't necessarily put a lot of time and equity into it. Yeah. Um, again, I think you, you know, we... There's there's still a long ways to go. Yeah. Uh, I'm. I can say this. I'm uh, a big advocate of love and friendship, and honesty and communication. But in the same breath, I'm also a big advocate of accountability. Yeah, me too. Um, I think you explained it well. Of if someone's behavior lies so far outside your value system that the balance shifts of like, man, I, I can't operate in a world where this works. Yeah. That's, that's the end result of being accountable. Stern then asked John Cena how he plans to handle the situation, to which John Cena said, Right now, what I'm going to do is love the person I love, right. be their friend. And by that, it means like, hey, I, I love you. Uh, you. You got a hill to climb. And, you know, there's a, um, the saying of like, hey, you, you, you don't know who you are or you don't know who your friends are until the shit hits the fan or your back's against the wall. That, yeah. that doesn't make any of what's going on any easier to swallow. Right. But just telling somebody that like, hey, I love you. Man, this is going to be a hill to climb. Uh, we're going to see what happens. And, and that's that. I think it's, 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 it sounds so cliche, but it has to be one day at a time. But at the same token, it, I've openly said is I, I, I love the guy. I got a great relationship with the guy. So yeah. that's, you know, that's that. The whole thing is super, super unfortunate. Yeah. That's, that's really the thing that sucks because not only does it deal with an individual I love, it deals with an entity that I love. Yeah. And uh, it's one that I speak highly of. And you want to you want to make sure everyone. I want everyone to have the experience I had. I want if you're a, a employee at Disneyland, you want everybody to go to Disney and think it's the greatest place on earth. And when someone doesn't, or when you find out that there may or may not have been things going on there that, you know, this place I was speaking so great about, well, in some aspects needed a lot of work. Those that's more than just how do I feel about this person. You know, now I shift to okay. Am I doing all I can to, to make it better? You know, yeah. I, from the advice of like, work as hard as you can, promote as hard as you can. Is, is there anything I can do? So not only do I tell my friend I love them, I also switch to the entity and say, how can I help? Additionally, Randy Orton has also been grappling with the allegations that have been made against Vince McMahon. In an interview with the New York Post that was published on Wednesday, Randy Orton was asked about his reaction to the lawsuit former WWE employee Janelle Grant has filed against McMahon, WWE, and John Laronitis. The lawsuit accuses McMahon of physical and emotional abuse, sexual assault, and sex trafficking. Randy Orton told the Post that part of him doesn't want to believe the allegations because Vince has done so much for him, but he understands that Vince could have done those positive things while also making other terrible mistakes to which he said i've seen the horrible things online that i don't want to believe because this man has done so many things for me if it wasn't for him i wouldn't have been given second and third chances in wwe i wouldn't be in the position that i'm in now if it wasn't for that man so part of me wants to not believe it and then the other part of me understands that he could have done all of these wonderful things for me and the business and created this amazing thing that will go on and on well after after he's gone but on the other hand he's human and he's made some effing terrible mistakes randy orton added that he thinks a lot more information has to come out before he or any other wwe talent can really speak on the situation saying there's three sides to every story their side the other side and then the truth i think a lot more has to come out before i can really speak on any of this i think that would be the case for any talent that you ask but I do know about Vince McMahon, the man that I've known for the past 24 years personally, and I owe him for everything he's done for me. I say that with conviction because I wouldn't be in this position without a lot of help from him. But if these allegations are true, then it's some horrible shit right there. 
I'm torn, it's hard. He had similar comments in an interview with Sports Illustrated that was also published today, saying, I've got to say this, I wouldn't be where I am without Vince McMahon taking a chance on me a handful of times. I would not be where I am today without Vince McMahon, but I'm reading this. What you've seen and read, I've seen and read. As far as commenting on that, it effing hurts my heart. It hurts my heart. McMahon, who has vowed to vigorously defend himself against Janelle Grant's allegations, resigned from WWE and its parent company, TKO Group Holdings, after the lawsuit was filed. In other news, Randy Orton is proud of the way he handled what could have been a difficult situation at WWE Survivor Series. At the event, Randy returned for his first match in 18 months. He had been dealing with a career-threatening back injury that required double fusion surgery. He returned as part of the men's War Games match at Survivor Series last November, teaming with Cody Rhodes, Jey Uso, Seth Rollins, and Sami Zayn to defeat the Judgment Day and Drew McIntyre. But Orton wasn't the only wrestler who came back to WWE that night. After the War Games match, CM Punk returned to WWE for the first time in nearly a decade. While Punk's appearance at Survivor Series was kept as a surprise, WWE announced in advance that Orton would be returning. The decision was made so that the Chicago crowd would not expect CM Punk to be in war games. In an interview with Sports Illustrated, Randy detailed how he was informed that Punk would be returning. Paul Triple H Levesque told him that it was something that only came together in the last few days before Survivor Series. I thought he was effing with me. I said, you're joking. And he was like, no, I'm not. This is something that just happened in the last few days. Orton said the situation is something that old Randy would have been pissed about, but the new version of Randy didn't allow it to become a problem. Everything ended up working out and the fans were excited to see both Orton and CM Punk return. To which he said, I was so excited for the surprise return. That's never really been the case. They've always kind of stooged off the fact I was returning. They wanted those views, so I'd never had that surprise return. I could have been really pissed and old Randy would have been pissed. It was a defining moment for me. I went out there, we had a great War Games match, everybody was excited that I returned, everybody was excited that Punk returned, and neither return stepped on each other. It was a testament to how much I'd grown. It would have been an issue only if I made it one, so I was proud of the way I handled it. Randy is set to compete in the Men's Elimination Chamber match in Perth, Australia this Saturday. Randy Orton, Drew McIntyre, Bobby Lashley, Ellie Knight, Kevin Owens, and Logan Paul will be the participants in the match. The winner challenges Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania 40. That's a wrap for this episode of The Latest. As always, do not forget to subscribe to F4W Online for plenty more.